This is ProBlogger. Hi there, it's Darren from ProBlogger here. This episode is presented by The Success Incubator, a brand new event that I'm co-hosting this year for ProBlogger readers in Dallas, Texas on the 24th and 25th of October. As I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, uh, we've got this year some great speakers coming to this particular event. In in addition to myself speaking, uh, we've got Pat Flynn from Smart Passive Income, Kim Gast from founder of Boom Social, Andrea Val, uh, who's a brilliant social media consultant, and many more speakers. There's more speakers to be announced in the coming weeks, but I'm excited to have Pat, Kim, and Andrea joining us, and excited to offer you an early bird discount ticket for this particular event. If you go to problogger.com forward slash success and use the coupon code success17, all uppercase, you will get a $50 discount on tickets to this year's event. Look forward to seeing you in Dallas this October for our only US event this year. Again, go to problogger.com forward slash success. Creating great content, finding an audience, building engagement, monetizing your blog. This is ProBlogger. As I said at the top of the show, my name is Darren Rouse and I'm the blogger behind ProBlogger.com, a blog, podcast, events, a job board and a series of ebooks, all designed to help you as a blogger to grow a profitable blog. You can learn more about ProBlogger over at ProBlogger.com. Now in today's episode, I'm going to share with you another cool tool for bloggers that will help you to create high quality live video on Facebook. Many of you have heard me raving about Facebook Live pretty much for the last six to 12 months. Uh, It continues to be a medium that is well worth investing time into. I have been doing it on a weekly basis for the last couple of months and am seeing the benefits every time I do it. If you use Facebook Live, you're going to start to grow your reach and engagement on Facebook, and it does help to deepen the relationships that you have with your readers. The problem that many people have with Facebook Live is that to create a high quality, professional looking video can feel a little out of the reach of the ordinary everyday person. Whilst Facebook themselves are updating their tools, uh, there's still a lot you can't do without investing quite a bit of money into software or hacking together a system and being quite technical. So today I want to present to you an affordable option that will for under $30, enable you to do some pretty cool stuff, including sharing your screen, which is something that many of you have been asking for, scheduling broadcasts, adding overlays, and much more. Today's show notes are at problogger.com forward slash podcast forward slash 199, where I link to the tool, but also give you some examples of videos I've shot, live videos I've shot, and broadcast onto Facebook using this tool. You can also check out our Facebook group where I do live videos every week at problogger.com forward slash group. You're listening to ProBlogger. So Facebook Live continues to be a great way to build a presence on Facebook itself to support your blog. It's a great way of getting extra reach on Facebook. We know that Facebook continue to show live broadcasts more than almost any other type of post that you can put on Facebook. So it's a great way to extend your reach and to reach those um, people who follow you on Facebook who don't see your other posts. It's also a really great way to build relationships with those who follow you and to have real engagement with followers, like real-time engagement. When you get on and you actually get a comment from someone, you can respond to that immediately. And that takes the relationship further faster. It's also a really great way to personalize your brand. Now, back in episode 188, I gave seven different types of Facebook Lives that you can do. And we do talk a little bit more there about why Facebook Live is so great. But today I want to talk about a tool that I've been using that has really helped me in my Facebook Lives. Facebook have been developing what you can do with Facebook Live a lot since it first went live. In the early days, you could only do it from the mobile phone. More recently, they allow you to do it from your desktop computer, just from within Facebook itself. And that's pretty cool. But there still are some limitations of what you can and can't do either through the mobile app or through your desktop computer. And that is why I've always been interested in what some of the other apps and tools will allow you to do. 
And one of the ones that I've been playing around with over the last uh, couple of months, really, is Ecamm Live. And that's what I want to talk about today. It's E C A M M Live, Ecamm Live. They first came onto um, my radar years ago now when I was looking for a solution to record Skype interviews. So when you hear me interviewing someone on this podcast, so we did Nikki Parkinson uh, a couple of weeks ago now. That interview was recorded on a little tool that plugs into Skype. Uh, it's called Call Recorder, um, and it's a, a Mac-based tool that allows you to record your Skype conversations. So that's where I first came into touch with this company who produced Ecamm Live. One of the things I love about that Call Recorder tool is that it's really cheap, and there's so many software tools around now which are exorbitantly priced, and the Call Recorder was uh, something that I thought was affordable, and it's something I use all the time. So I've always been interested when they release a new product, and one of the new products that they released a few months ago now is this new one, Ecamm Live, which allows you to put Facebook Live videos up using their particular app. Now, I want to say right up front, this is a Mac-based tool. So if you're not on a Mac, you're not going to find this particular episode too useful. There are other solutions out there uh, that you can look at for PC-based Facebook Lives. But if you have a Mac, you're going to want to check out Ecamm Live because it is really feature-rich. They're developing it fast and it is very affordable. It's $30, $29.95 US dollars. And whilst that may be out of the price range of some people, I think most people can probably afford that if they're going to invest into Facebook Live because it's so much cheaper than a lot of the other tools that are out there. Um, And it does allow you to do things that you can't do easily through Facebook itself and their particular apps. I'm, I'm amazed how cheap it is, really. So I've been using it now for six or seven weeks, maybe a little bit more even, on both Pro Bloggers Facebook page and also my Digital Photography School Facebook page, and I'm really impressed by what you can do with this particular app. Creating great content and building your audience. This is Pro Blogger. Let me run through really briefly some of the things that you can do with this tool, Ecamm Live, that you can't easily do just using Facebook's native desktop app um, or, or phone app. The first one is overlays. You've probably seen video online for years now, people will add some kind of an overlay to their video. And there's a number of different type of overlays that you can add into your video, um, your live video using Ecamm Live. Firstly, you can put an image onto your video. So if you go to um, ProBlogger Facebook page, you will see one of my videos, and in the corner, I have the ProBlogger logo showing all the time through the video. So I'm able to brand my live video with my logo, which reinforces my brand. You could add in a larger image and you could actually pop it in as a a large one that takes up the whole screen if you wanted to, but I tend to just put mine in nice and small. You could also use an animated GIF in that place as well, and it's really easy to do. You just get an image off your desktop, drag it onto the Ecamm Live app, and there it is, and then you can resize it and, and reposition it if you want. So you can add in an image. You can also add in text. So even during your um, Facebook Live session, you might want to emphasize a URL. You might want to um, add in your name at the bottom of the video. You can type in your name and you can change the font and the, the color and the size of the font as well. You can add in more than one text overlay if you want as well, as well as having that logo. So in the last um, Facebook Live that I did, On the ProBlogger page, I had the ProBlogger logo up in the top left-hand corner, and then under the logo, I had a URL to the Facebook group that we uh, have at ProBlogger. So you can do a number of different types of overlays during your Facebook Live, and that's one cool feature that you can't do um, using Facebook's native app. Second thing that you can do is show video pre-recorded video in your Facebook Live. And this is really useful uh, in a number of different ways. Um, So any video that you've got on your desktop, you can simply 
line it up and press play and then show it to people on your Facebook Live. So this could be really useful if you are a business person. If you have a uh, business that sells widgets and you have a, a video that sells the widget, that demonstrates the widget, rather than having to do it live in front of the camera, you could have this pre-recorded video. You could introduce what you're going to show and then press play on it. You might have a, a keynote presentation that you've delivered at a conference and you've got the video of it. And rather than giving the presentation presentation again live on camera, you show the video. There's any number of ways that you can use uh, video. You just pr- play it in the middle of your live stream. You could have a video lined up, introduce it, press play, stop it halfway, get back on you showing your face, and then again show more of the video. So you can chop and change during your Facebook Live. Really very useful. Number three, and this was the killer thing for me, this is the reason I got Ecamm Live, is that you can share your screen on your desktop. This is a desktop app, and this is really what I wanted because a lot of the Facebook Lives that I tend to do are teaching Facebook Lives. If you've uh, tuned in to the ones that I've been running over the last few weeks, you'll know that I show slides, um, and these are slides that I've repurposed from talks that I've given, and uh, I've worked hard on those slides, and so it's really great to be able to show them. I introduce my video, I will give a greeting, and then I'll say, let's move into a teaching session, and then I share my screen, and I show a PowerPoint presentation that I have already uh, developed. You could also share your browser. So from time to time, and during a Facebook Live, I will jump on and I'll go, hey, let's look at this site and I will show an example of it. Pretty much any app you can then show on the screen. And the cool thing about Ecamm Live is that they recently did an update which allows you to just show one app. So you don't have to show your whole desktop, you can just uh, show your Safari browser or your Chrome browser. You could show a PDF, you could show your keynote slides, you could share a text document, any app that you've got on your computer, you can just highlight that and just share that, or you can choose to share your whole screen. I tend not to do that because my um, desktop's pretty messy with lots of icons everywhere. So, screen sharing. This is the killer app for me. This is the reason I got it, and it works so easily. You literally just press a button and then highlight the app that you want to highlight, and there it is up on the screen for people to see. How to build and monetize your blog. This is ProBlogger. The fourth thing you can do is have multi cameras. So if you want to um, add a little complexity to your setup, you might want to have one camera set up on just your face, another camera set up as a wide angle, a little bit further away from you to show your office uh, or the set that you're in. You might have a a camera even set up on something else or another person if you're interviewing them. So you can switch between cameras and that's pretty easy to do as well. You can actually have um, an external camera. So I used to use my webcam built into my iMac, which is a good little webcam, but it's not as good as some of the other webcams out there. So I recently bought myself a Logitech webcam, uh, which is a HD webcam, a higher quality, and it works better in low light. And so I've plugged that in and used that as well. But I could switch to the webcam as well. Another feature you can do very easily through Ecamm Live, Live is schedule your broadcasts. You can actually say, I will be on live at this time on this day. I think it's anything up to seven days into the future. So I could today set one up for tomorrow at this time. And I've been doing that as well. And so anyone who's following you on Facebook in their newsfeed will see Darren is planning to go live at this time and they have the option to set a reminder when you're about to go live. And so if they are on Facebook at the time that you're gonna go live, a notification comes up that says, Darren's about to go live, go and check it out. Now this is something you can do using numerous tools. You can actually kind of do it through Facebook itself, but it's not an easy, simple process to do. You've kind of got to go into settings at the moment to do that. Um, So this is just a seamless way to do that. There are other features. Um, You see the comments of anyone who is responding to you during your session um, come up on the screen. As you are broadcasting, you see what your viewers see, um, which is really useful. So you actually see yourself and then over um, that video of yourself, you see the comments scroll up. One of the things I don't like about it is that the comments are quite small and they are white. And so if you have a white background behind you, they can be a little bit hard to see. This is a uh, something I've fed back to the team at Ecamm Live. 
I hope that they will fix that and um, make it so that those comments stand out a little bit more. But you do get that feedback, which is fantastic because it means you don't have to have Facebook open to go and see what people are saying to you. You also see the, the likes and the hearts that people give you as well. So you get that, that feedback from people. Another feature, it's HD quality. If you choose to have it that way, you can switch that on or off depending upon your internet speed. My internet speed here in Australia is um, not super fast. I'm on, um, on a cable connection, but I've only got one megabyte per second upload, um, which isn't really fast. And so when I did switch HD on, I I, I got a few connectivity issues. Um, So I'm not sure whether that was my internet or whether that was a little bug in in their tool at the time. So I switched that off and since then haven't had a problem and the quality is still pretty good. They're also adding features regularly. And this is one of the things I love about um, Ecamm Live is that they are updating the app and they're updating it almost every second week at the moment. They have a little Facebook group, which is reasonably active, where they preview upcoming features. Um, They released a a new version of it last week, which did add scheduling and some other tools as well. You can location tag your videos if you choose to do that as well. And they also shared the other day that they're going to add a feature which will allow you to use a digital SLR as a camera, which will be pretty cool because you'll be able to to shoot at a large aperture getting a little bit technical now in photography terms, uh, using different lenses, which will allow you to blur your background, which is a, is a really nice effect um, and is something that I'm keen to experiment with as well. You're listening to Pro Blogger. So it's a, a cool tool. I mean, there are plenty of other tools around out there that will give you all of these features. There's nothing unique here just to Ecamm Live, but... At $29.95, I am amazed at what it can do. Some of the other tools that are out there are upwards of $400. I saw one the other day for $500. Now, uh, I will say that that tool is a professional level tool and it is pretty amazing. You can do a whole lot more than what I've just said. But for $29.95, I'm I'm pretty amazed that Ecamm Live is putting this out there and they uh, guarantee that you'll get lifetime updates with that as well. So I'm pretty excited about this tool. I would love it if they would allow us to um, see the comments a little bit more. I would love it if we could do split screen interviews with other people so I could bring on a guest. That's on my wish list. They have said in their Facebook group that they're open to doing that if Facebook would, would allow it in their API. So hopefully that will come. That's something that you can now do through Facebook's mobile app, I think, or at least some people can. So hopefully that's coming. Um, again, it's a Mac only tool. Unfortunately, for those of you who aren't on Macs, you're not going to be able to use that. So I've got a link in the show notes to this. It's an affiliate link. I think I make 15% on that $29.95, so it's not a great deal. Uh, But it is a tool that I'm using and genuinely do recommend. So I'm not doing this just for that 15% of 30 bucks. I'm doing this because it is a tool that is so simple to use and I'm really uh, genuinely very excited about and I'm excited to see what they continue to do to add to it. So thanks to the team at Ecamm Live for creating this tool and putting it in the hands of of normal people and making it so accessible to people. If you give Ecamm Live a go, head over to our Facebook group at problogger.com forward slash group and share a link to your Ecamm Live video, the live video that you did. Back in episode 180, I did challenge you to do some Facebook Lives, and I know some of you did take that challenge. I want to issue that challenge again. Give it a go. Give this tool a go. They actually have, a, I think, a free trial for seven days or 14 days, so you can even use it for free just to give it a go as well. If you do, share the link in our Facebook group so we can see how you went and give you some encouragement as well. Thanks for listening today. This is episode 199. You can check out the show notes at problogger.com forward slash podcast forward slash 199, where there is a link to this amazing tool. I might also embed a couple of videos that I shot with it so you can check them out as well. That's problogger.com forward slash podcast forward slash 199. And if you've got a moment and you're uh, listening to this in iTunes or on the podcast app on your iPhone or some other iPhone network, please leave us a review. It does make a massive difference, um, not only to helping us to be found by other people, but also makes a big difference to me because I get an email each week with those reviews and uh, gives me a lot of energy to keep on keeping on with this podcast. 
Thanks so much for listening today. Look forward to chatting with you next week in episode 200 of the Pro Blogger podcast. You've been listening to Pro Blogger. If you'd like to comment on any of today's topics or subscribe to the series, find us at problogger.com forward slash podcast. Tweet us at problogger. Find us at facebook.com forward slash problogger or search problogger on iTunes. Thanks for listening today. If you would like something else to listen to, I do recommend that you go over to listen to episode 180, where I go through seven different types of Facebook Lives that you can do. I know some of you will be asking the question, well, I want to do Facebook Live, but what would I do on Facebook Live? Well, that episode is going to give you some hints on that. And as I say in the show today, head over to problogger.com forward slash group where you can share your videos and learn from 6,000 plus other bloggers who are on this journey with you. There's some great community going on in there. Lastly, if you did want to check out that Dallas event, head over to problogger.com forward slash success and use the coupon code success17, all uppercase for a $50 Uh, discount on that particular ticket. I do really hope to see as many of you as possible at that Dallas event. It's the only event we're doing in the US this year and we uh, have a a great time lined up for you. One of the things that we will be doing more of at that event than we've been doing in previous events here in Australia is masterminding. We're also doing a short, sharp series of sessions in the evening of day one of the event called our Power Sessions. And in these Power Sessions, we are uh, inviting people to share for 20 minutes on a particular topic, really short, sharp practical hacks and systems and templates that they've been using in their business. And that's a particular focus of this year's event. Uh, We're going to churn through as much actionable content as possible. So if you are interested in that Dallas event, head over to problogger.com forward slash success. And again, the coupon code success17 to get $50 off that event. Thanks, everyone. Chat with you next week. This episode of the Pro Blogger Podcast was edited by the team at Podcast Motor, who offer a great range of services, including helping you to set up and launch your podcast, as well as ongoing editing and production of the podcast that you produce. You can check them out at podcastmotor.com.